and Happy New Year from me, Dave, at Turning Works. This is my new studio I've been working on. Well, it's the same one, but I've just tied it up basically and given it a bit of a spruce over. There's nothing on the walls you can see here. There's no tools, there's no, there's no shelves, there's absolutely nothing at all. So I'm going to do a workshop walk around another time. Okay, let's get on with it. I've got a new project. Uh, it's going to probably be a two-parter. First part being to turn the shape and the second part going to be carving the shape. So what is it you're going to make Dave you're asking yourself? What are you going to make? Well it's from a piece of you that was given to me by I believe Greg Dykes at UKIS last year. This is it. This is one of the pieces he gave me a few. So this is it. So I'm going to cut this in half and then we're going to make a try and make a hollow form out of this. That should turn out okay, because I love you. Here is the piece so far, got it down to just basically see where the cracks went, so uh, the cracks went down to here, so that's why I've shaped it down to there. We've got the tenon for the chuck there and we're ready to put it in. So it's in a chuck, we're going to take this bit of bark off, take it down till that comes out. And we've got a couple more cracks there that I need to get rid of for what I'm going to do in a bit. Um, so I'll come back after that's done. Rightio, so I'm going to come back to that piece once I've sanded it. There it is, look. There's not actually a lot to, to look at in a workshop, is there, really? Um, it's not the most exciting of backgrounds till I get some shelves up and stuff, but uh, that will be coming at some point after this, maybe, if I feel like it. I don't know. I tend to sort of enjoy having a go at this rather than doing all the, the neat stuff and putting up the, the brackets and stuff. But hey-ho. Anyway, I'm going to come back. The point of this message was I'm going to come back after I've sanded this and then we we'll get to the next part. So you definitely want to use one of these because you has got horrible dust. Important once you get past the first bit of the opening that you move your tool rest in because that just gives it ex the tool extra support, stops the chatter. I'm 
I'm going to hollow the bulk of this out and then we come back. Uh, we're going to swap to the hook neck cutter um, once we get the bulk of the middle bit out and then we can start shaping on the inside. Be back in a minute. Here it is. An hour later and it's hollowed out, sanded. I did have a major problem. Um, well, apart from this knot falling out, so I've uh, thin CA glued that or thin super glued that. The problem was this bleeding this. Right, now then, I caught my scraper as I was cleaning up the inside. I caught my scraper and it cracked it. It threw it off centre and I sort of managed to get it as close as to round or close to true as I could um, but there is this crack here which actually isn't a major deal because this is where the leaves are going to be mainly so I think I can get rid of that between the leaves we'll see but it's a lovely bit wouldn't it see if we can get inside Go. Right, so you can see inside I've sanded to 180. Got a pretty good finish. Pretty nice. Only went to 180 because it's an inside of a vase, so uh, you can reach down. It's quite smooth inside, as far as I could reach anyway. I've only got little hands, but I can reach down to about there. It seems quite smooth and quite a good finish. Oh, thickness. Yes, let me just put this on a stand and uh, we measure the thickness. So at this section here, it is that big, which is probably about a quarter of an inch. Uh, it stays quarter of an inch. Pretty good, pretty good, bit thinner there, pretty good, and then it gets thick, that's actually the bottom, that's actually the bottom there, but again that's three eighths thick at that point there. Um, I use my safety sanding stick to get inside, um, started off at 80. Um, went to 120 and 180 inside now this is actually going to be cut off about there ish so it's not as deep as all that actually it's quite short um, but yeah that should help get rid of that little section there so then we've got to part it off about there and then we're going to start drawing out for the carving. So I'm going to get my thin parting tool there. So seeing as that's where I want to part it off, I'm going to take this in and then round off the bottom as much as I want. So. So this away. Let's stop it for a second. So I can adjust this and get it in a bit. There we go.
I put some sanding seed on the inside and uh, I'm going to put some on the outside mainly so I can mark on it and it won't sink into the wood so that's the, uh, that's the thinking behind it so you can see the grain <coughs> and you can see the grain really pop now Let's see what you're going to get After I've marked out the leaves, and indeed once I've cut them out, there's going to be a lot of hand sanding, which I absolutely love. So that's a bonus. Inside the vase, we're going to use Chestnut Wood Wax 22, just a light covering, just a smidgen, just a light coating. There we go, all done inside ready to part off. There it is. Got that crack to deal with. But yeah, nice little, nice little piece. Just don't sound like that. I am always wittering. Of Let's get on with it. So this being you, I got you, I got you. I love you, I love you, I love you. You might have noticed that I quite like you. We're gonna sand this down to about 240. Probably, don't know, not quite sure, might do. It's a bit of a laugh anyway, isn't it? Do I make sense? 